Hey YouTube, welcome back to Bad, Bad to, to the, the Stone. Stone. Today, Pebbles is gonna get some seat covers. These are Westerner seat covers. You may not have heard of them. They're a Canadian company, been around since, uh, says here, 1976. I just remember I grew up with these as a kid. Pretty much every old pickup I had, I uh, always had these seat covers. We're gonna open them up here, let you have a look. You remember them from our suburban? Suburban, yes. <laughs> Perfect, it was great. We had little, little children and the leather wasn't hot for them. And, you know, it was durable. If we had to, we could have taken off and washed them, but they were so easy. Easy to wipe clean, super cool. And they fit so well. They do fit they, nice. They're yes. machine washable. You may have seen a pattern like it, but these ones, I mean, they have some thickness, kind of like a, they kind of remind me of a horse blanket. I grew up on a horse farm. Maybe that's why I like them. I don't know, but I just love these seat covers and you don't have to get them in this original kind of pattern. They've got, I mean, probably 20 different designs. You can get out there to seatcovers.com, free shipping. They are made in Canada and that's where they ship from. So, so it's the sentimental reasons you got sen this? The sentimental <laughs> reasons. And and I just think it's going to be kind of a cool retro look since, you know, Broncos are old. Um, so far, we only have the fronts. That's what we're going to get on today. The rears are on the way. They're probably going to be here in a week. But let's get these front ones put on and uh, let's see what they look like. Sounds good. Okay. We'll unpack this box and give you a look inside. All right, so here is a better shot of what these look like. And you know, as I look at these, it looks like pebbles. I know, we got some little <laughs> blue highlights. It does look like a mix of pebbles and rocks and yep. you know, kind of has some grays and some other colors. Uh, you get little headrest covers on there to match. And it is, it's a nice one piece. It's gonna go over the top, good durable on the back. This holds it in place. You get a little cutout. You're not gonna be able to get to that mole on the holding on the back of the seats, but you will be able to get a little slot into the pocket and then some straps that are gonna pull through and then it just tucks around the sides and underneath. So, but again, Again, all one piece. They don't slide around. Pretty awesome fit on these. So. Right. These really secure the seat in place. So it doesn't matter how many times you're jumping in and out of the vehicle. It's not going to move. Okay. Let's get this camera turned around and let's get one of these on. All right. These buckles are all going to be in tight places while we're actually putting the seat cover on and in place, either underneath or around the back. But this is what those buckles look like. Just a standard quick release buckle. So you can pop them apart and then you're just routing the strap through each side. They come already on the straps, but I found it was much easier to pull these off, route the straps where you needed to, and then go ahead and feed your strap back through that, cinch it up part way tight, pull them around, buckle them together, and then you can cinch them up the rest of the way. That's what we'll be using to get these seat covers on. Yes. Well, that was easy. Here, honey, why don't you put, the, put a cover on that one? There you go. Now, hang on, do these have a... Yeah, they do, actually. I think that one would be the driver's side. So let's put that one over there. All right, they've got a little Westerner logo, so make sure we get that on the correct side. All right, we'll tip that way back. Shove these through. All right, it's kind of back and down is where we're shoving to get those all the way through. All right, now those straps going through from the back are gonna come all the way around to the front and hook into these ones. All right, so I'm gonna route those straps underneath. I went above the metal frame for the seat adjustment. So it's up on top of that. Gonna be kind of pretty tight to the bottom foam on the seat. Get the other one pulled through. And you can unclip these to get them started on here. I'm just making sure there is no, yeah, there's no seat belt adjustment. So I'm just trying to figure out that that one goes there. All right, I'm gonna pull that seat all the way up. 
All right, so we've got one piece of bungee cord here. It's basically around the bottom, around that map pocket. So you can pull that one snug. And I'm trying to think of where I could tie that off. But then we've got the other strap. So from the front, this is gonna go around, tuck around the back of the seat and connects up to another buckle that's over there behind the seat belt. So basically just three strap locking points underneath and then that bungee strip coming around the back and that's pretty much all there is to holding them in. So you definitely have to get them on the right side. The logo, it's not just the logo, there's also an airbag rip away seam on the side of these seats. You've got to make sure that that is towards the outside where the airbag is. So you definitely want to make sure you get the driver's side and the passenger side on the right way. So let's figure out where I want to route this. All right, I think I like that. So right around where the, the lift up and down is on the seat, I'm gonna route this strap through that notch here on the outside, and then that'll take it down and around the back. And then, hey, Sin, why don't you come jump in the back seat for me, please? All right. Now, with your little hands, I don't know if you can reach up and find the other half of that. There you go. All right, I don't know that that needs to route through anything. Does that just feel pretty good mm -hmm. right there? Yes. Okay, so this so again we can unclip that hook it through a little bit more there you go you have good access to that little mesh pocket well now that we got that done let's doesn't seem tight oh it's not tight on the bottom yet oh okay Well, what do you think now? Yep. Hey, why don't you jump in and sit in it for a second and try to push the back in place. Yep. Well, there is one installed. So you can see you get nice fit around there, full access to all the controls. It's clamped down there on the front. Matches all the way up there to the headrest in the middle. And I think this is going to push in and break in a little bit and form to the seat. The bottom's on there nice and tight. And again, that should not move. So I think for pebbles, good mix of black and gray, I think that's gonna look awesome. All right, so that's a little hokey right there because that strap really is what cinches it all around the front. So Cindy's able to get her fingers and connect it and drop it through here. And then you're able to get it a lot tighter all the way around. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. All right, so we're gonna find the better spot to route that little strap. This is a tool we're using. Got a little hole in it, so if you get it to come out the top, put the strap through the hole, pull it back down through the bottom. I just gotta... Okay, so it catches on a few things on the way up. We got it through. And zapoof, straps in a way better spot now for us to cinch that up tight. There, that looks much better in there. You're really able to get this cinched up tight all the way around where it's holding it in place. And those are locked in. All right, let's go ahead and knock out the other one. I remember the old Bronco 2, the seats would actually pop up and that really gave you great access to the back seat, but yeah. it still works. I mean, I will say I'm pretty impressed when I sit in the back seat, I can actually sit back there with the front seats all the way back and still have good leg room. Yeah, it would be nice if you had a little easier access. I don't think Sophie minds jumping through the back. Ah, that's true. We're going to have the rear seat not deleted, but we're going to have that platform back there probably 90% of the time for the dogs. So. Yeah. Shouldn't be a big deal. All right. Yeah, those fit on there nice, don't they? They do. Easy to pop on, and I guess you're ready to... Here, why don't you slide it over the back of the seat, and then I'll come hook up the straps. Oh, okay. Sounds good.
I don't know, see if you can get in there better. You gotta take those straps and they're kinda, it's kinda not straight down, but a little to the front, and then reach around there and get it. They're already through. I just didn't hook, didn't grab them from the backside yet. Any luck? I got one through. Awesome. All right, sometimes little hands are just what you need. Do you have a tool that can go up? Because I can touch my fingers down here. If you have a tool that we can put up in here and catch it and then pull this through, I can get it down there. Do you have something that I can push up? Yep. Yep. Second one's in, even better than the first. We'll come tweak that one now. One piece, look nice. I don't know, I like it. It's what I grew up with. Seat covers are a personal preference, but those are in. Backs are on the way. Hey, wasn't sure these were gonna get here in time, but we got the rear seat covers. So we already got one of those on. We'll show you that in a second, and we'll show you how easy it is to get these ones on. Two pieces, so you've got the part that goes over the back, and then you've got the piece that goes on the bottom of the seat that flips down. So since you have full access to the bottom of the seat, just running four straps through this kind of quad buckle here, tightening those up. The headrest slips on, and then this one tucks around and just velcro underneath. And my only feedback for them, they said this was the first set that they got out for the two-door Bronco with the 5050. I'm pretty sure these are the same headrest for the four-door and this two-door does have a little bit of a different headrest. So yeah, a little bit of a loose fit on the headrest on the back seat. But otherwise, uh, we got the other one on there and it is great. Let's just dive right in and knock this out. All right, it does have a little hole in it for that strap. So that's how you can figure out which one is the left and the right to make sure you get them on the right place. And these rear headrests on this two-door model are not removable, so you just have to pop that right over top of the headrest. And pull that straight down like you're pulling on a sock. And then you can see these straps are just gonna tuck underneath, pull those other ones around. Just wanna make sure you've got it nice and centered up on the front. So let me go check that before we do the strap set. All right, so you just wanna pull this loop through the little slot they cut in the seat. And again, just check it from the front and make sure we got it centered up. So that's looking pretty centered up there. Basically flip the seat down and pull that part through. All right, just pop the seat down and reach up under here. Make sure the original seat stays done up. All right, work this through, undo the Velcro. And you can kind of get a nice tuck on the strap they give you here. Hook that a little bit and then tuck this Velcro and it really hooks nicely right to the back of the seat. And again, a little tuck there and then hook that Velcro to the back of the seat. And that's it, the back is in place. Pop a headrest cover on. And like I say, those are a little bit loose, I think, for these two-door ones, but that's good. Now we'll come inside and put the bottom on. All right, so you can see it pretty much just lays in place. Set it there, make sure these front straps are feeding underneath. There we go. And they've got all the buckles on, but you need to pop those off real quick to be able to feed it through. And it didn't come with any instructions, but here's what I found worked the best. So we're gonna kind of go on an angle from this side to that side. Go on the other angle. From there to there. And then for the strap around, Tuck that one straight across. And just kind of cinch that one up so that it's close. All 
All right, just kind of pull the buckles till they're about down by the metal. Get that a little bit up in place. And then our last one. All right, now this is pulling it tight all around the front. So you pull up some of that slack. Keep it fairly squared up and tighten these ones. Tuck your excess in and oh, maybe pulled it around the front a little too much there. There we go. Make sure we've got it positioned that way first and then we'll retighten around the side. And there you go, rear seat covers, nice snug fit, access to all the straps, ready for the dog. Well, this is a wrap for our Westerner seat covers. It was mighty hot today, but we got it done. <laughs> yeah, even in the garage, it's definitely a little toasty here. It is uh, nearly end of September here in Texas and still plenty hot today, but that's all right. It's good, good teamwork. I love the fit. I like the look of them. Yeah. Ready to get out there and, uh, and get them dirty. It brightens up the interior, so. Well, YouTube, hey, appreciate you watching as always. Hopefully by now we've got a few other videos out there on the channel. If you want to check them out, you like it, hit that subscribe button and you'll know when we're going to get that next video out. Till then, I hope you're out in your own Bronco keeping it bad, bad to, to the, the stone. stone. We'll be here working on pebbles and hopefully bringing some more cool content to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye.